One man and one woman, both dead after separate accidents in Hancock Street over the weekend. Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago joins us live after speaking with a Springfield resident who's sharing concerns about safety. Daniel. Abby, today I spoke with John Vivencio. He lives on Hancock Street right here in Springfield. And after these two accidents, he tells us he's worried about people driving too fast and pedestrians possibly getting hurt again. Two deadly accidents this weekend in Springfield. A man died in a motorcycle crash and one woman lost her life after being struck by two cars. Both accidents happened within a day and a half from each other, both on Hancock Street. I was just like, oh my God, you know, so... I'm just like, you know, rest in peace. That's a horrible way for anybody to go. Western Mass News spoke to John Vivencio. He lives steps away from the area where the woman was struck by the cars on Sunday. He tells us he's now worried about possible safety issues for other pedestrians and even those driving down Hancock Street. That light wasn't on. I don't remember the last time that light was ever on. So it was dark that way. And with these lights on that do come on, it's not that bright as it is. People speed around here all the time. I mean, I'm out here even during the day. I'll start, you know, whistling, slow down. Well, you still know this because uh, we've had dogs get killed out here and stuff. You know, it's crazy for speed and people just don't do it. And I don't know what we can do to stop it because it just keeps happening. We share these concerns with Ryan Walsh, the public information officer with the Springfield Police Department. He tells Western Mass News these are rare accidents and that there isn't a history of issues on Hancock Street. Based on the video that our investigators received, they said for this time of night and the lighting that is there, you know, it, it was definitely lit enough and well lit uh, compared to some of the other streets in the area. The uh, pedestrian, there was no crosswalk there where the pedestrian was, but she was standing in the middle of the street. The drivers, if they're paying attention and if they're looking, um, especially that first driver, should be able to see that person, that pedestrian standing there, and, and that is avoidable. Both accidents that happened over the weekend are under investigation by the Springfield Police Traffic Unit. And Wash tells us that if other residents have other concerns about proper lighting and speed limits, they should contact the Department of Public Works. Report, reporting live in Springfield, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News.